Welcome to another Maths with Paddy video where we talk about uh, an idea or a theorem from maths and do an example and I always try to get it done in less than five minutes. Uh, so today uh, what we're going to look at are, is integration. Okay, so we're going to look at the integration of trigonometric functions, okay, of, and in particular we'll be looking at powers of tri trigonometric functions, okay, so of powers of things like sine, okay, and cosine. So sine and cosine, okay. So basically we're just going to do an example and uh, there, uh, 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 there are a number of trigonometric identities that can help us uh, solve these types of integrals. Uh, so one example is if we want to get the integral of cosine of x all to be cubed, okay, and the in integral is with respect to x, okay. So we can rewrite this as the cosine of x to be squared uh, by the cosine of x, okay, uh, with respect to x, okay. So there exists an identity uh, for the cosine of x squared. So this is like based on, you know, the common ident tri trigonometric identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x is equal to 1. Uh, so if we rearrange that slightly, uh, cosine of x all to be squared is equal to 1 minus sine of x all to be squared, okay? And then this will be by the cosine of x, cosine of x, uh, dx. Okay, so how do we solve this? Uh, well, we can do a substitution uh, in order to simplify the integral, okay? So if we uh, let, okay, uh, u equal uh, to sine of x, okay? So if u is equal to sine of x, uh, then du dx will be equal to the cosine of x, okay? And du, will be equal to the cosine of x, cosine of x dx, okay? So this will be our substitution, okay? So uh, this will be then equal to one minus u squared, okay? So as u is equal to the sine of x, then the cosine of x by dx, well, that just equals du, okay? So uh, the substitution has resulted in a simplification uh, of the integrand. Uh, so if we integrate now, uh, we just use the power law. So this would be equal to u minus, so we raise the power of u squared by one. So to get u cubed all over uh, three, okay. And then we have the constant of integration plus c, okay. And then we just uh, substitute back in uh, what u was assigned, u was assigned to being equal to x, so this will be equal to the sine of x minus the sine of x cubed all over 3 uh, plus c. So that's an example of how to use trigonometric identity when integrating uh, powers of cosine in this particular example. Hope that helps. See you next time.